Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're going to learn about counting sort. So counting sort is one of those algorithms in which you have to go through every element one by one and then increment a bunch of options. So I have a bunch of stuff on the screen here and I'm going to show a demonstration of how this sort actually works. There's also a link in the description to where you can find a visualization of the counting sort and about 30 elements being sorted at once and there's an animation playing. But I'm going to show you how to do it with 10, 10 elements right here. So, uh, so th these are the indexes, right? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the ten, 10 elements indexed from 0 to 9. And this is the two sort array which I'm going to use. So the two sort array is um, array of randomly assigned numbers, so 7, 5, 6, 2, whatever. And this is the counter array. This is going to hold the counters of the arrays which we are going to require. And this is the final sorted array. Currently it's uh, initialized to 0 and yeah. So uh, let us start with the two sort array. So the first element in the two sort array, the zeroth element, is um, seven. What the algorithm does is it takes this element and uh, goes into the counter array and uh, goes to the seventh element right here: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And currently it is zero, right? So it increments it by one. So it becomes one. Zero becomes one because this is the seventh. Then it goes to the next one, five. So fifth element: zero, one, two, three. 4, 5. It goes here, it becomes 1. So it increments from 0 to 1. Then you have 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It becomes 1. Then you have 2. 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2. So 2 comes twice, right? So 0, 1, 2. It's already 1, so it becomes 2. Then you have 0. This becomes 1. Then you have 8 over here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This becomes 1. And 9. This becomes 1. So what you have done is you have um, you are basically counting how many times seven occurs and uh, how many times five occurs, how many times six occurs. But the thing is that you're sorting it in proper order. You know where it is and you know how you can increment it. So from this counter array, you can actually uh, get the sorted array. What you do is you go through the first element of the counter array and right now is one. So you know that this first element contains a zero, which is supposed to be you know indexing to zero. So being one, it actually has one zero in it. So if you decrement this by one and you put that zero over here, this index over here, you got the first element, the first sorted element, zero, zero. Next, you have one over here. So this is zero and one. So this is the first index, right? So zero, one. So if you decrement this, you know that this is going to be one. Similarly, these are two. So you're going to get two twos. Okay, so two and two. This is uh, three, right? Three. So zero, one, two, three. This will be zero, sorry. Then you have uh, zero, one, two, three. So you have one, three. So you have three, this will be zero. Then you have one, five, okay, zero, and five. Oh, sorry, yeah, so this will be uh, five, and this will be one, six. This will be one, seven. This will be one, eight, and this will be one, nine. And that's how you actually sort with the counting sort, which is pretty awesome. So I, what I did was I went through the whole two sort array and I counted one by one and then I you know found the answer uh, according to you know the the counters so these are individual counters which count which number occurs where and how many times so uh, if you didn't understand it watch it again uh, what I would recommend is to know the limitations of this so the limitation is in the worst case so this algorithm offers us n complexity which means that it should go through each and every element one by one to get the answer basically so uh, also the other limitation is that we have um, this uses a lot of memory space uh, which means that if you have like um, the maximum element in this array is nine right so you have to use 10 element spaces right so just imagine if it is a thousand if the maximum element is a thousand right you have to use a thousand element spaces which is really not convenient also look at the amount of arrays which are there so just imagine 1000 indexes, 1000 two sorts arrays, counter arrays, sorted arrays. So basically it will use a lot of memory, right? So that's those are some of the limitations. Without further ado, let's get into the code. Um, I'm gonna, I've, I've coded this in Python, so yeah, let's see that. So the first thing which I'm gonna declare is the import.random, uh, ra import random because I'm going to have, you know, random values which are going to be inputted into the string. Then I'm going to come over here, I'm gonna say if name equals to equal to main, uh, define a main. So I need a main function. I like using Python with the main function so that's just how I have my own press preferences set so I'm going to define the main I'm going to assign two sort array equal to list so the two sort array is basically going to be a list a list is a fancy way of saying array in uh, in Python but the thing is that um, list can also be you know increased the size of a list in Python can be increased so it's not 
actually uh, an array it's, a, it's kind of a linked list uh, counter array equal to list sorted array the same which we used before then uh, we assign something that is the length of the array which is 10 now the length of the array is very important because it will you know tell you what elements you're gonna have so I'm gonna generate my numbers here so I go from for x in range of 0 to length of n to sort uh, dot at pen random dot random 0 uh, comma length of array minus 1 so what I'm doing is I'm appending random numbers to the two sort list which means that this will give me values from 0 to length of array minus 1 uh, this value is included so if it's 0 to 9 it will give me random values from 0 to 9 I'm going to initialize the counter array give it value of 0 so the same number so if this is 10 these will be 10 numbers from 0 to 9 indexes and yeah then I'm what I'm doing is I'm printing the sorted array the, the sorry the two sort array and then I'm going for x in two sort array this is basically an iterator in the two sort array I have already appended the random numbers so what it'll do is suppose uh, the random number is uh, 5 okay the first element in this is 5 so what it does is it goes for x in two sort array so the first element is 5 right so x will be 5 so counter array of 5 plus equal to one so it, it's basically initializing or you know incrementing the counter array by one so here we have seven right so it will go zero one two three four five six seven and we increment it by one the same thing for x in range of zero comma length of counter array basically the value 10 length of counter array is 10 right so while that is 10 while counter array of x is greater than zero sorted array dot append of x so counter array of x is minus equal to 1 the same thing right so for x in range of 0 comma 10 while counter array of x counter array of x what does that mean the index okay x is the index right so this value will basically be one of these so okay, this is 2 right this should be 0 to move forward okay so if that is 2 if it's greater than 0 then the sorted array dot append of x you have to append it to the sorted array yeah sorted array append it to the sorted array and then i'm gonna you know decrement the counter by one and then go again so while that is greater than zero you append it to the sorted array and once it's done you release it so that's how you do it so this is how the counting sort actually works i explained uh the logic just go with the code one more time two more times and if you understand it and yeah that's about it let's run it one more time save and run and yeah eight five two eight whatever and this is a sorted array so thanks for watching guys um i'll see you later in the next tutorial